Hi guys, I've got another cone video because I uh, picked these up over the last couple of days. I actually got this one last night. This one, no, I got that one and that one last night. Anyway, I'm going to start with this one. This is the more unusual out of the three. It's a Melba Products cone, 750mm cone. Um, and as you noticed, it's got a slot at the bottom there. It's actually got three in total. There's one there, one on the opposite side, and one there. And uh, the idea with that is, as you've seen in one of my other videos, I've got the um, cone top for the barrier planks. Well, the idea is that you put the cone top on one of these, and you can put another barrier plank in the bottom, so this cone would double up as a post. Don't see many of them nowadays. In fact, this is the first one I've seen in years, which is why I nabbed this one from the hedge. I've known about it for ages. It's been sitting in the hedge for months and months, and. <laughs> The uh, amount of cobwebs and leaves underneath them, on the, well, under the base. I've hoovered them all off now, including the big ass spider that was with it. Yeah, I don't like spiders. Anyway, that's the first one. It's got a bit of damage on the base there. It's been chipped, but it still stands fine. Next, we've got this one, which has got Lowry stamped in the base, and on the sleeve, it's got Peter Cook Safety Products Limited. Now, I don't know if that's just the manufacturer of the sleeve itself, or if they manufactured the whole term. But, uh, it's another one that I thought was quite a nice, unique one. It's got blue base. And I've got three of these. I've got another one down in the shed. I actually don't know how many cones I've got in total now. I'm going to have to have a count up, I think. Probably close to the same number as King Cone now. <laughs> anyway. This is the last one I picked up last night from an alleyway. And it started life over by the post office, which you should know by now is the uh, where the camera's facing, somewhere, across the car park. Well, it started life a little bit further up from the post office, because there's, just behind the post office, is the um, BT Telephone Exchange building, which is only a little old dinky building. Um, and BT had had some repair work on their wall, because some of the coping stones had fallen off. And they'd put two larger cones than these big ones there, and two of these small ones, just to mark off their part of the wall that they just uh, repaired. But uh, one of the little ones actually went walkabout, because this was two, three months ago now. One of the little ones went walkabout, then I noticed this one was dumped over the wall uh, during the week. No, for the past week it's been sitting on the other side of the wall on the VT property. The two big cones are still standing there, they haven't moved. But, uh, then I noticed a couple of days ago that this one had uh, reappeared on the pavement side, which is also next to a bus stop. And then it disappeared again, and then I found this, <laughs> that, almost to the end of my road, down an alleyway that cuts between that road and that road, I say cuts between, it's a shortcut. And there's two that I know of on this road that you can use as a shortcut. So uh, I went and grabbed that last night, and it's a, uh, it's a BT cone, another BT cone. Oxford Plastics. 
2004. Now, I'm not sure if BT designed it or wanted their cones like this, but I've never found a BT cone with a sleeve on it. But then again, on this one, I can... I don't think it's going to show on camera, but I can see a faint outline where a uh, sleeve was. A little bit of damage here and there. It's obviously been thrown around on the vans. It's not very heavy either, that one. And it's shorter. I might remember where I put them. It's actually shorter than these small ones. Not by a great deal, but it is sure. So, uh, yeah, these are my three cones. And, uh, for some reason, BT do like to put their stamp on the, um, items they order. Because, uh, I've got this road lamp here. I'll take it through here into the light. I'll sit under the spotlight. Uh, so, this is one of the lamps I bought on eBay last year, I think. And as you can see, it's got the BT stamp on it. British Telecom. Uh, and from what I've read up on these specific lamps is that BT ordered these from Dorman Smith. Um, you know, especially designed for BT, and then they dropped out of the order, they cancelled the order, so Dorman had um, all these lamps basically sitting around doing nothing. <laughs> so I'm, I'm guessing Dorman sold them off to other customers. Um, this has got a date on it as well, 1998. Dorman. It says two batteries on there, but this will run on just the one. Yeah. yeah. I think I got this one quite cheap, because there was a time on eBay that um, there was a lot of sellers selling these, and uh, some sellers had, like, quite a few for sale. But this is actually brand new. This has never been on the road. There's no marks. There's only dust where it's been <laughs> sitting on the shelf in the bedroom. But, uh, no, there is no mark, no nothing on this. That's even got the item code on the bottom. See that? <laughs> there is any marks on it. It is just from storage. It does work. It's a static lamp. It doesn't flash. I'll put it back up here. Yeah, I found that one cheap from a seller. Because they'd been for sale for quite a while and he dropped the price on them, so I thought I'd nab one while I could. No noisy. <coughs> I think that's how I got most of my lamps, actually. Oddly enough, I have found them at car boot sales as well. Bloody cat, I've got to go feed him. But I've got to go to Sainsbury's first. So, yeah, that is three new additions. For some reason, I don't like cones without the sleeve. I prefer to see them with. But, uh, I've got a few without them. Wouldn't mind trying to find the other one of them. I bet that's long gone by now. It'd be long gone, I don't... <laughs> yeah, that's Oxford Plastics one, isn't it? Duh. Can't... Look on this one to see if I could see. No, it's just got Lowry written on it. Which I think is the actual company that used them. Probably for time action looking at the state of this. Or well, something similar. It's got a bit of damage to the sleeve up here, but I've got no idea how old it is. 
still pretty solid though. like that one. Glad I got that one in the collection now. It's not an easy one to find. Uh, my Watchman barrier plank should actually fit in there. I don't know, was it Melba that made the um, Watchman barrier system? I might have to Google that and see if I can find it. Because technically with this, I wouldn't need another bar barrier post, I'd just need another plank. Because <laughs> that will um, be the same height as a Watchman barrier post when you get the uh, cone top on top of it. I do hope there's no more spiders up this. I did give the inside of it a vacuum out, but I didn't look. <laughs> I was too chicken. All of this was, it was just a sea of cobweb on the bottom of this. <laughs> There's a cobweb waving around up there, but I can't see anything else. Good. Yeah. Got one thing just living in it. Sunday, shops don't open till 10 anyway, and I've had my brother here, so, anyway, I'm going to end up, oh, I've got my finger caught on the tripod leg, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm going to end the video, whoops, I'm going to trip over two, three cones, three cones, I can't count either, yeah, I'm going to end the video before I do fall over something. <laughs> so uh, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more videos and uh, I'll talk to you again pretty soon, bye